Yo, yo, Mr. Pinnister. So, going on my lunch break. Had a big breakfast, so I'm not really hungry. And wanted to kill some time. So, your boy is going to the dealership. I'm going to go test drive the 2015 RT Road and Track Edition Charger. Now, I know the gears are a little bit higher than the normal RTs. I think it's comparable to the same gearing as the Scat Packs. I forgot the number. I don't know if it's 3... 309? 306? Something like that. I'll figure it out. But yeah, I'm about to go and test out this bad boy. Doesn't mean I'm going to go get one. I'm just curious to see how it feels. I've already test drove a 2016 RT. Just base edition, nothing special to it. Wasn't that impressed. Yes, it was a little bit faster than my 3.6. Super quiet. But that's stock. If it had, you know, the active exhaust, like the 2017 plus models, and yeah, that would have been ideal and sounded really good. But I'm just kind of curious as power level, how it feels compared to what I have now. My heart's still set on a 392. But, you know, why not go see what the RT has? I think one of the main reasons why I'm going to go test this out is because I follow RT Life on YouTube. If you guys don't know who he is, go check him out. He does a lot of good stuff for the Mopar community. But yeah, he always talks about, you know, don't sleep on the 5.7s. They're a great performance engine. They're quick. They do a lot of good things. Everyone likes to skip them and go straight to the 392, 6.4s, and so forth. But so I decided to go ahead and see if I can hearken to those words. Hearken to the words. Anyway, I'll let you know how it goes when I get up there. I'm back, yo. Just got done test driving the 2016 Road and Track Edition RT Charger. Wish I had it on video, but. I didn't bring my camera in. I was talking to the dude and we just had a conversation and talked about, you know, car stuff. He's a car guy. He was a Mustang guy, but he knows about Mopars. Just, yeah, let's talk about this experience I had. I was impressed, you know. The 5.7 felt really good. It pulled a lot harder than my V6, of course. You know, it got to the point where, like, the G-forces were pushing me back and, like, I couldn't like temporarily see it got a little blurry but it was pretty good I drove into sport mode and did regular regular mode compared to two was able to peel some tires so yeah it's fun it sounds good I mean the exhaust is quiet on the 2016 so obviously would have to cut off those mid mufflers just get a whole new exhaust system make it sound good but no it felt it felt great and uh can't really complain about it. You know, would I get a would I get an RT? I yeah, probably would. You know, I know my heart's set on the 392 SRT8, but this thing was fun. I can see why people drive it and have a good time. So, so RT life. Yeah, I, I see. I see what you're talking about, bro. Can't sleep on the 5.7 chargers at all. I mean, there's so much more you can do to them. Get more power. Improve that zero to sixty and so forth. But no, it was solid. It was solid. That 8-speed definitely makes a difference. And I know in general at the drag strip, 8-speed makes a car, compared to the, the regular RTs, you know, the years before, half a second, at least half a second faster. So it was pretty cool to see and feel all that. You know, it had heated seats. It had the Beats um, sound system. It had the paddle shifters. So it had a lot of a lot of fun things in there. They had it priced at like 25 grand, too high, of course. I'm sure I can find it a little bit cheaper. But I think the mileage were mileage was like 25,000 miles. So I guess it wasn't priced too high, priced right. But no, it felt good. It was cool. And uh, yeah, I got a lot to think about. Got a lot to think about if. Uh, 
take a conservative route or just stick to what I really want. But anyway, that's all I had to say. It was fun. Those of you guys who are looking at an RT, the, the newer ones, I suggest go ahead and get that. You feel a lot better than the older RTs, you know, 2011s to 2014s. I still feel like that those look better than the newer ones, but it's kind of tough. You got to pay for looks or you pay for performance. Anyway, I'm out. Let me know if y'all got any questions. Peace.